Jeopardy! 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 Alright, welcome everyone to game 5 of my run of Jeopardy for the Nintendo 64. And I've got Frankie with me here for this one. And I have a four day total of. Is this right? $20,000 for four days? That's a lot of money. Welcome to your favorite game of... Well, let's see if we can add to it, shall we? We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round. All right, one daily double on the board in this first round, and here we go. $100 to $500 answers, and here are the categories. Frontier Life. File under the letter H, H in quotation marks. Vice President. Saints. Art and artists and historic terms. This often devastating tropical storm takes its name from a West Indian word for big wind. What is a hurricane? Now, of course, the last time I played this game, I ended up. Select again. Yeah, last time I played this game was a loss, but that game was part of a special, so it didn't count for my run. Alright, anyways. Final Reach 200. It's a mustache with curved ends, or the part of a bicycle it resembles. The handlebar. Select again. 300, please. In computer lingo, it's someone who tries to gain unauthorized access to files. What is a hacker? That's a correct response. Select again. Same category for 400. This verse form is usually divided into three lines of five, seven, and five syllables. What is a haiku? That's right. Select again. 500. It's the art or science that deals with coats of arms. Incorrect. By what? <laughs> uh, by the way, Marty, we love you. <laughs> Heredity? Sorry, wrong. No, that's incorrect. Anyone else? Heraldry. Select again. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go for historic terms 100. The name of these colonial militiamen comes from their claim that they could be ready in 60 seconds. Who are Minutemen? Uh, Where are your manners? Historic terms 200. This offer of Das Kapital coined the term Lumpen Proletariat to describe social scum. Karl Marx? That's right. Yep, he's the one. Make a selection. As a patron saint of children, he's the origin of Father Christmas. unusual to have a clue related to Christmas at the end of May, but whatever. Who is Saint Friday? No, I'm just kidding. It's actually Saint Nicholas. You got it. No, but I changed it. I said Saint Nicholas. Uh, very funny. Mr. King Friday. A 
According to tradition, this patron of travelers was a converted pagan warrior named Reprobus. St. Christopher. Right. Yep. Make a selection. Vice President's 100. While attending DePaul University in Greencastle, Indiana, this future Vice President played on the golf team. Okay. <clears throat> We're looking for Dan Quayle. Make a selection. Answer. Daily Six three hundred and there's the daily double. Six three hundred five hundred. This term for the anti-communist hysteric the forties and fifties comes from a senator's name. What is McCarthyism? That's and that's right. Again. Ironically, he was elected to the Senate in 1791 over Alexander Hamilton's father-in-law. Hello, uh, King Friday and Lady uh, Elaine Child. Uh, well, Frank actually stepped away for a second, but hello, Connor. Hi. Oh, that's okay. I thought I'd spend time with you guys, uh, just for an hour, because I had to leave soon. Sorry. All right. Oh, anyone else? Uh, you have another rehearsal? Do you have another rehearsal or something, Connor? Yes, I do. I have a five-hour rehearsal today, from five to ten. Take again. Oh. That's not too bad, because my show is very close this weekend, so... Ah. We have a lot of work to do. Ah. All right. I'm very excited. Okay. Well, we're excited for you, Connor. Uh, yeah, we're excited for you, Connor. I need your majesty. <laughs> well, I'm not talking in my King Friday voice right now, so it's okay. Uh, sea dogs were the English privateers who preyed on Spanish ships in the early part of her reign, and the correct response, who was Elizabeth I? Oh, you didn't Yep, yeah, for the N64. This vice president earned his law degree in 1947 from Baltimore, Washington. Hello there, dearie. What's going on? Well, nothing much. Mark was just playing golf. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yes, fair child. <laughs> Who is Gerald Ford? Uh, how are you, Frankie? Gosh, that's no, that's incorrect. Spiro Agnew. Yep. Pick again. And that's because my niece was born morning. This term for British rule in India comes from Hindi for sovereign sovereignty. Oh, Uncle Frankie. Born at 4.30 yesterday morning, 6 pounds, 12 ounces. Yeah, I saw your picture on the, the CTDF chat. She looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Uh, what's her name? Her name is Piper, Mark. Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, Piper. Nice. Yep. Picking you. Nice. St. Titus is the traditional recipient of his epistle to Titus. I thought I would stop by and say hello, you guys. I'm going to spend time for an hour because I told Frank he had rehearsal in a couple hours from 5 to 10. Ooh. So this, my show is that's right. the openings this weekend, so... So like again. A Texas city bears the name of this man who was vice president when Texas joined the Union. Oops. Oh, this is a Texas clue, but I don't know the right answer. Oh. Adam and Tim, I hope you guys don't get me for this. George Mifflin Dallas. Ah. Uh. Like well, hopefully Adam and uh, Tim won't get me for not getting that. Frontier Life for 100. George Jackson is credited with discovering this precious metal in the Rockies. Oh, and I should also mention, I almost forgot. Hopefully Aubrey doesn't get on me either for not getting that one. What's up, Mark? Uh, and then the uh, Jeopardy round here. Oh, cool. Oh, I, 
to Claire's response with his goal. Oh, no, I didn't know the answer to that Texas clue, so I was saying, I hope Tim and Adam don't get me for that. Oh, no. The carving of St. Agatha's Vale in procession is credited with averting, with averting eruption of the Sicilian volcano. I... Hmm... I think I'm going to take a guess on this. What is Mount Etna? That's right. And that's correct. Make a selection. St. Anthony of this Italian city was actually born in Lisbon, Portugal. Well, now who showed up? Uh, that would be... Eve. Eve. Hi, Steve. Eve. Mr. Kobosky. Steve-o! <laughs> Verona. Hey guys. And sorry, sorry. It's wrong. Loose. Anyone else? No. <laughs> <laughs> Padua. Uh, uh, Make a selection. Just, uh, this Republican had served less than two years uh, as governor when elected vice president in 1900. How's your day going, Steve? Uh, All right, Marty. Theodore Roosevelt. That's right. And that's correct. Make a selection. Because wood was rare on the plains, this new item patented in 1873 made cheap fencing possible. New item in 17, 1873. Um... What is aluminum? No, I'm sorry, that's else? wrong. Anyone else? Uh, nothing really. Barbed wire. I know it's been a couple of days. Make a selection. Art and artists is 100. In 1950, Giacomo Manzu won a commission to create bronze doors for this Roman basilica. Chapel is incorrect. I love family if you will for every power. St. Peter's. So. Make a selection. Antoine Coisevo produced much of the sculpture in this French palace and its gardens. Maudie. What is Versailles? That's right. Yes. Select again. All right, artist for 300. Canadian artist James Wilson Morris was the model for Cronshaw in his novel of human bondage. Anyone ever heard of the novel of human bondage? No. 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 Well. It's a... Right. Like w. Somerset Maugham was the uh, correct offer that they needed. Mm. Art and artist for 400. Austrian painter Egon Schiele died in 1918 of this disease that swept Europe. What is baconitis? No! No. <laughs> I don't know if there is such thing. I'm thinking it's bubonic plague, but I don't know. Influenza? That's right. Okay, I so I would that. have been wrong. Our artist for 500. A Jean Antoine Houdin boost of this candied offer in the National Gallery of Art was sculpted in the year he died. Yeah, see, Connor, unless you play this version of Jeopardy a whole lot, the answers are kind of difficult. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have the we'll make a selection. version of 
Frontier Life for 300 With one law book and a six shooter, he held court at his saloon in Langtree, Texas. Judge Roy Bean. Make a selection. And I think we're going for the four hundred dollar clue next. Yes, we are. By eighteen seventy six, this Nevada town had more than twenty three thousand people and one hundred fifty saloons. Mark Twain had already left. Virginia City. And now for the last one. Make a selection. Let's take a look at the $500 answer here. The Chisholm and Western Trails were routes used to move cattle mainly from this state to Texas. Uh, oops. Where are your manners? Yeah, it's you. They're on your N64. Hey, I'm using it. <laughs> oh, brother. The correct response, what is Kansas? Kansas.